that happened on lap two. And what? now, under caution, Juan Pablo Montoya has crashed and gone aflame. Holy cow, what happened? We just got a report that he was complaining about a bad vibration in every gear. No, I, Larry, he just slammed he into, into the jet dryer. I think he slammed into the jet dryer. They're trying to clear debris off the racetrack, and the car brakes, won't steer, and he slides up the track and into the back of that surplus helicopter jet engine on a trailer used to dry the racetrack. Larry, uh, Mike, I saw sparks coming out from the car as if it had a tire down or something. What an incredible turn of events I've never, I've never in my life. Oh my gosh. And all that spilled jet fuel found something hot to ignite it. Safety workers quickly on the scene. And this is a bizarre twist to this Daytona 500. Down in turn number three. Well, I've seen a lot of things, but I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. That fuel is just running right down. That's a, that thing's full of fuel. They keep them full all the time. I just wonder what it's going to do to the racetrack. Well, here comes the fire crew. You see the red truck bottom of the screen. They've got to get that out because that fire could damage the racing surface. That's what I was thinking. I mean, you got fuel. It's on fire. Uh, it could eat that asphalt right up. It is commonplace for track safety, rescue, track drying vehicles to circulate the track under a caution flag. Drivers must maintain reasonable speed while catching up the pack and avoid those emergency vehicles. They're brightly lit and everything. That's easy to do when you can be under control of your race car. I just wonder if Montoya was going down the back, catching up with the field, and he didn't know the safety truck was up there. They called him on the radio and said, watch that safety truck, and the car darted hard right. I Something had to happen. I saw sparks underneath. The car yep. broke, and I don't believe he had steering control. I don't either. I mean, it the looked, car went up the track. When you see the sparks come out from the car, it just looks like it had a flat tire or something happened to it. I don't know how many gallons of jet fuel that thing holds, but I guarantee you it's got several gallons in it. Several, probably a hundred. Track personnel exited uh, that cleanup truck very quickly after the collision and walked away. That, that's got to be that's got to be eating the track up. I just wonder what it's going to do to it, Larry. Yeah, that's uh, that fire has been burning for quite a while now. And let's reiterate, Juan Pablo Montoya climbed from his car and walked quickly away. The car destroyed. He is all right and trying to get what is now a jet fuel fire under control, blazing in turn number three. But, Darrell, I keep going back. We just had gotten a report. They were telling me in my ear that Montoya had a bad vibration in every gear he was putting it in. So something was going on with that 42 car. The race has been red flagged. That means the cars have been stopped well away from the turn three scene. They've been red flagged on the back straightaway. And you're looking at what happens when 200 gallons of jet fuel meet a spark or something very hot after a collision like that. Yeah, that thing just burst into flame. I mean, it was unbelievable. Still trying to get it under control. And, and you know, I, I would say maybe they could drive it down off the track, but if you look, the, pass, the driver's door is caved in. Uh, I don't think you can even get in the vehicle if you were brave enough to try it. Now, we've just had pit stops. Everyone from fifth place on back has stopped. Dave Blaney did not pit under this caution, along with Landon Castle, Tony Raines, and David Gilliland. They are the race leaders. As we are under the red flag, Blaney driving for the Tom Baldwin Jr. team. Castle with a brand new ride, and Reigns, who just got a ride a few weeks ago into the Daytona 500 with teammate to Gilliland at Front Row Motorsports. 
They are the race leaders under this red flag for a bizarre incident entering turn number three. When Indy 500 and Monaco Grand Prix winner won Pablo Montoya, went down the back straightaway, something on the car broke from the sparks underneath, lost control of the steering, and slid up into the trailer uh, that held that jet helicopter engine, which was blowing debris off the racetrack while we were under caution. As far as the drivers that pitted, Matt Kenseth in the 17, who had been leading, he won the battle off pit road. Just, I look mean, at, that car is destroyed. Look at Montoya's car. More fire trucks going to the scene. Now, that's the front of the race car. Uh, it hit the trailer, which went up in the air, and the race car pretty much submarined underneath it. The red flag remains displayed in the Daytona 500 as that burned up safety vehicle has been brought down off the turn three banking but still must be removed from the racetrack and we get spilled fluids uh, cleaned up. Let's find out what happened as Juan Paulo Montoya is out of the care center and with Steve Burns. Yeah, thanks Mike. You know, Juan, we heard you say in your radio transmission that you felt a vibration. What in the heck happened? Well, I told him I left the pits after the pits and I felt a really weird vibration. We were with the pack. And every time I got on the gas vibrator, so I came back in, they checked all the rear end, they said it was okay. And I got into the back straight, and we were going fourth gear, but we're not even going that fast. And when, every time I got on the gas, the rear was, like, I could feel the rear really squeezing, and I got on the brakes, travel up. And while I was telling the spotter to have a look how the rear was moving, the car just turned right. It, Juan, I, I also asked you, you talked to the gentleman who was in the jet dryer. He was in the ambulance with you as well, right? Yeah, he was okay. You know, he just looks pretty, pretty scared. Put it that way. All right, thanks. We're so glad you're all right. Yeah.